Potassium is a chemical element with symbol K from Neo-Latin kalium and atomic number 19. It was first isolated from potash, the ashes of plants, from which its name derives. In the periodic table, potassium is one of the alkali metals. All of the alkali metals have a single valence electron in the outer electron shell, which is easily removed to create an ion with a positive charge, a cation, which combines with anions to form salts. Potassium in nature occurs only in ionic salts. Elemental potassium is a soft silvery white alkali metal that oxidizes rapidly in air and reacts vigorously with water, generating sufficient heat to ignite hydrogen emitted in the reaction, and burning with a lilac-colored flame. It is found dissolved in sea water, which is 0.04% potassium by weight, and is part of many minerals. Potassium is chemically very similar to sodium, the previous element in group 1 of the periodic table. They have a similar first ionization energy, which allows for each atom to give up its sole outer electron. That they are different elements that combine with the same anions to make similar salts was suspected in 1702, and was proven in 1807 using electrolysis. Naturally occurring potassium is composed of three isotopes, of which 40K is radioactive. Traces of 40K are found in all potassium, and it is the most common radioisotope in the human body. Potassium ions are vital for the functioning of all living cells. The transfer of potassium ions through nerve cell membranes is necessary for normal nerve transmission. Potassium deficiency and excess can each result in numerous signs and symptoms, including an abnormal heart rhythm and various electrocardiographic abnormalities. Fresh fruits and vegetables are good dietary sources of potassium. The body responds to the influx of dietary potassium, which raises serum potassium levels, with a shift of potassium from outside to inside cells and an increase in potassium excretion by the kidneys. Most industrial applications of potassium exploit the high solubility in water of potassium compounds, such as potassium soaps. Heavy crop production rapidly depletes the soil of potassium, and this can be remedied with agricultural fertilizers containing potassium, accounting for 95% of global potassium chemical production. Etymology The English name for the element potassium comes from the word potash which refers to an early method of extracting various potassium salts, placing in a pot the ash of burnt wood or tree leaves, adding water, heating, and evaporating the solution. When Humphrey Davy first isolated the pure element using electrolysis in 1807, he named it potassium, which he derived from the word potash. The symbol K stems from Kali, itself from the root word alkali, which in turn comes from Arabic, alkalia al kalia plant ashes. In 1797, the German chemist Martin Klaproth discovered potash in the minerals leucite and lipidolite, and realized that potash was not a product of plant growth but actually contained a new element, which he proposed to call Kali. In 1807, Humphrey Davy produced the element via electrolysis. In 1809, Ludwig Wilhelm Gilbert proposed the name kalium for Davy's potassium. In 1814, the Swedish chemist Berzelius advocated the name kalium for potassium, with the chemical symbol K. The English and French speaking countries adopted Davy and Gay Lussac, Tainard's name potassium, while the Germanic countries adopted Gilbert Klaproth's name kalium. The Gold Book of the International Union of Physical and Applied Chemistry has designated the official chemical symbol as K. Properties Physical Potassium is the second least dense metal after lithium. It is a soft solid with a low melting point, and can be easily cut with a knife. Freshly cut potassium is silvery in appearance, but it begins to tarnish toward gray immediately on exposure to air. In a flame test, potassium and its compounds emit a lilac color with a peak emission wavelength of 766.5 nm. Chemical 
neutral potassium atoms have 19 electrons, one more than the extremely stable configuration of the noble gas argon. Because of this and its low first ionization energy of 418.8 kJ per mole, the potassium atom is much more likely to lose the last electron and acquire a positive charge than to gain one and acquire a negative charge, though negatively charged alkali K- ions are not impossible. This process requires so little energy that potassium is readily oxidized by atmospheric oxygen. In contrast, the second ionization energy is very high, 3052 kilojoules per mole, because removal of two electrons breaks the stable noble gas electronic configuration, the configuration of the inert argon. Potassium therefore does not form compounds with the oxidation state of plus 2 or higher. Potassium is an extremely active metal that reacts violently with oxygen in water and air. With oxygen it forms potassium peroxide, and with water potassium forms potassium hydroxide. The reaction of potassium with water is dangerous because of its violent exothermic character and the production of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen reacts again with atmospheric oxygen, producing water, which reacts with the remaining potassium. This reaction requires only traces of water, because of this, potassium and the liquid sodium potassium, NAC alloy are potent desiccants that can be used to dry solvents prior to distillation, because of the sensitivity of potassium to water and air, reactions with other elements are possible only in an inert atmosphere such as argon gas using air-free techniques. Potassium does not react with most hydrocarbons such as mineral oil or kerosene. It readily dissolves in liquid ammonia, up to 480 grams per 1,000 grams of ammonia at 0 degrees Celsius. Depending on the concentration, the ammonia solutions are blue to yellow, and their electrical conductivity is similar to that of liquid metals. In a pure solution, potassium slowly reacts with ammonia to form KNH2, but this reaction is accelerated by minute amounts of transition metal salts. Because it can reduce the salts to the metal, potassium is often used as the reductant in the preparation of finely divided metals from their salts by the REEK method. For example, the preparation of magnesium by this method employs potassium as the reductant, Magnesium chloride plus 2 kmg plus 2 kcl. Compounds The only common oxidation state for potassium is plus 1. Potassium metal is a powerful reducing agent that is easily oxidized to the monopositive cation, K+. Once oxidized, it is very stable and difficult to reduce back to the metal. Potassium oxidizes faster than most metals and often forms oxides containing oxygen oxygen bonds, as do all alkali metals except lithium. There are three possible oxides of potassium potassium oxide, K2O, potassium peroxide, K2O2, and potassium superoxide, KO2. They contain three different oxygen based ions oxide, O2, peroxide, O2, and superoxide, O2. The latter two species, especially the superoxide, are rare and are formed only in reaction of very electropositive metals, Na, K, R, B, Cs, etc., with oxygen. These species contain oxygen-oxygen bonds. All potassium-oxygen binary compounds are known to react with water violently, forming potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide Co. is a very strong alkali, and up to 1.21 kg of it can dissolve in merely 1 liter of water. Co. reacts readily with carbon dioxide to produce potassium carbonate, and is used to remove traces of the gas from air. In general, potassium compounds are highly ionic and, owing to the high hydration energy of the K-plus ion, have excellent water solubility. The main species in water solution are the equated complexes K, H2O, N, plus where N equals 6 and 7. The potassium ion is colorless in water and is very difficult to precipitate. Possible precipitation methods include reactions with sodium tetraphenylborate, hexachloroplatinic acid, and sodium cobaltonitrite into potassium tetraphenylborate, potassium hexachloroplatinate, and potassium cobaltonitrite. Isotopes 
there are 24 known isotopes of potassium, three of which occur naturally, 39K, 93.3%, 40K, 0.0117%, and 41K, 6.7%. Naturally occurring 40K has a half-life of 1.250 times 109 years. It decays to stable 40R by electron capture or positron emission 11.2% or to stable 40Ca by beta decay 88.8%. The decay of 40K to 40R is the basis of a common method for dating rocks. The conventional KR dating method depends on the assumption that the rocks contained no argon at the time of formation and that all the subsequent radiogenic argon 40R, was quantitatively retained. Minerals are dated by measurement of the concentration of potassium and the amount of radiogenic 40R that has accumulated. The minerals best suited for dating include biotite, muscovite, metamorphic hornblende, and volcanic feldspar. Whole rock samples from volcanic flows and shallow intrusives can also be dated if they are unaltered. Apart from dating, potassium isotopes have been used as tracers in studies of weathering and for nutrient cycling studies because potassium is a macronutrient required for life. 40K occurs in natural potassium, and thus in some commercial salt substitutes, in sufficient quantity that large bags of those substitutes can be used as a radioactive source for classroom demonstrations. 40K is the radioisotope with the largest abundance in the body. In healthy animals and people, 40K represents the largest source of radioactivity, greater even than 14C. In a human body of 70 kg mass, about 4,400 nuclei of 40K decay per second. The activity of natural potassium is 31 becquerels per gram. Cosmic formation and distribution Potassium is formed in supernovae by nucleosynthesis from lighter atoms. Potassium is principally created in type II supernovae via an explosive oxygen burning process. 40K is also formed in S process nucleosynthesis and the neon burning process. Potassium is the 20th most abundant element in the solar system and the 17th most abundant element by weight in the Earth. It makes up about 2.6% of the weight of the Earth's crust and is the seventh most abundant element in the crust. The potassium concentration in seawater is 0.39 grams per liter, 0.039 Wt, V percent, about 127th the concentration of sodium. Potash Potash is primarily a mixture of potassium salts because plants have little or no sodium content, and the rest of a plant's major mineral content consists of calcium salts of relatively low solubility in water. While potash has been used since ancient times, it was not understood for most of its history to be a fundamentally different substance from sodium mineral salts. Georg Ernst Stahl obtained experimental evidence that led him to suggest the fundamental difference of sodium and potassium salts in 1702, and Henri Louis de Mel du Monceau was able to prove this difference in 1736. The exact chemical composition of potassium and sodium compounds, and the status as chemical element of potassium and sodium, was not known then, and thus Antoine Lavoisier did not include the alkali in his list of chemical elements in 1789. For a long time the only significant applications for potash were the production of glass, bleach, soap and gunpowder as potassium nitrate. Potassium soaps from animal fats and vegetable oils were especially prized because they tend to be more water-soluble and of softer texture, and are therefore known as soft soaps. The discovery by Justus Liebig in 1840 that potassium is a necessary element for plants and that most types of soil lack potassium caused a steep rise in demand for potassium salts. Wood ash from fir trees was initially used as a potassium salt source for fertilizer, but, with the discovery in 1868 of mineral deposits containing potassium chloride near Stafford, Germany, the production of potassium-containing fertilizers began at an industrial scale. Other potash deposits were discovered, and by the 1960s Canada became the dominant producer. Metal 
Potassium metal was first isolated in 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy, who derived it from caustic potash Co. potassium hydroxide, by electrolysis of molten Co. with the newly discovered voltaic pile. Potassium was the first metal that was isolated by electrolysis. Later in the same year, Davy reported extraction of the metal sodium from a mineral derivative, caustic soda, NaOH, or lye, rather than a plant salt, by a similar technique, demonstrating that the elements, and thus the salts, are different. Although the production of potassium and sodium metal should have shown that both are elements, it took some time before this view was universally accepted. Geology Elemental potassium does not occur in nature because of its high reactivity. It reacts violently with water, see section precautions below, and also reacts with oxygen. Orthoclase potassium feldspar is a common rock-forming mineral. Granite for example contains 5% potassium, which is well above the average in the Earth's crust. Sylvite KCl, carnalite KCl, magnesium chloride 6 H2O, kyanite, magnesium sulfate KCl3 H2O, and langbinite, magnesium sulfate K2SO4, are the minerals found in large evaporite deposits worldwide. The deposits often show layers starting with the least soluble at the bottom and the most soluble on top. Deposits of nitre, potassium nitrate, were formed by decomposition of organic material in contact with atmosphere, mostly in caves, because of the good water solubility of nitre the formation of larger deposits requires special environmental conditions. Biological role Potassium is the eighth or ninth most common element by mass 0.2% in the human body, so that a 60 kg adult contains a total of about 120 grams of potassium. The body has about as much potassium as sulfur and chlorine, and only calcium and phosphorus are more abundant, with the exception of the ubiquitous Chan elements. Potassium ions are present in a wide variety of proteins and enzymes. Biochemical function Potassium levels influence multiple physiological processes, including resting cellular membrane potential and the propagation of action potentials in neuronal, muscular, and cardiac tissue. Due to the electrostatic and chemical properties, K plus ions are larger than Na plus ions, and ion channels and pumps in cell membranes can differentiate between the two ions, actively pumping or passively passing one of the two ions while blocking the other. Hormone secretion and action Vascular tone Systemic blood pressure control Gastrointestinal motility Acid-base homeostasis Glucose and insulin metabolism Mineralocorticoid action Renal concentrating ability Fluid and electrolyte balance Homeostasis Potassium homeostasis denotes the maintenance of the total body potassium content, plasma potassium level, and the ratio of the intracellular to extracellular potassium concentrations within narrow limits, in the face of pulsatile intake meals, obligatory renal excretion, and shifts between intracellular and extracellular compartments. Plasma levels Plasma potassium is normally kept at 3.5 to 5.0 millimoles (mmol) or milliequivalents (meq) per liter by multiple mechanisms. Levels outside this range are associated with an increasing rate of death from multiple causes, and some cardiac, kidney, and lung diseases progress more rapidly if serum potassium levels are not maintained within the normal range. An average meal of 40 to 50 mmol presents the body with more potassium than is present in all plasma 20 to 25 mmol. However, this surge causes the plasma potassium to rise only 10% at most as a result of prompt and efficient clearance by both renal and extra-renal mechanisms. Hypokalemia, a deficiency of potassium in the plasma, can be fatal if severe. Common causes are increased gastrointestinal loss vomiting, diarrhea, and increased renal loss diuresis. 
Deficiency symptoms include muscle weakness, paralytic ileus, ECG abnormalities, decreased reflex response, and in severe cases, respiratory paralysis, alkalosis, and cardiac arrhythmia. Control mechanisms Potassium content in the plasma is tightly controlled by four basic mechanisms, which have various names and classifications. The 4 or 1 a reactive negative feedback system, 2 a reactive feed forward system, 3 a predictive or circadian system, and 4 an internal or cell membrane transport system. Collectively, the first three are sometimes termed the external potassium homeostasis system, and the first two, the reactive potassium homeostasis system. The reactive negative feedback system refers to the system that induces renal secretion of potassium in response to a rise in the plasma potassium potassium ingestion, shift out of cells, or intravenous infusion. The reactive feed-forward system refers to an incompletely understood system that induces renal potassium secretion in response to potassium ingestion prior to any rise in the plasma potassium. This is probably initiated by gut cell potassium receptors that detect ingested potassium and trigger vagal afferent signals to the pituitary gland. The predictive or circadian system increases renal secretion of potassium during mealtime hours e.g. daytime for humans, nighttime for rodents independent of the presence, amount, or absence of potassium ingestion. It is mediated by a circadian oscillator in the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the brain central clock, which causes the kidney peripheral clock to secrete potassium in this rhythmic circadian fashion. The ion transport system moves potassium across the cell membrane using two mechanisms. One is active and pumps sodium out of, and potassium into, the cell. The other is passive and allows potassium to leak out of the cell. Potassium and sodium cations influence fluid distribution between intracellular and extracellular compartments by osmotic forces. The movement of potassium and sodium through the cell membrane is mediated by the Na+, K+, atpase pump. This ion pump uses ATP to pump three sodium ions out of the cell and two potassium ions into the cell, creating an electrochemical gradient and electromotive force across the cell membrane. The highly selective potassium ion channels, which are tetramers, are crucial for hyperpolarization inside neurons after an action potential is triggered, to cite one example. The most recently discovered potassium ion channel is Kervac 3.1, which makes a total of five potassium ion channels, KCSA, Kervac 1.1, Kervac 3.1, KVAP, and MTHK, with a determined structure. All five are from prokaryotic species. Renal filtration, reabsorption, and excretion. Renal handling of potassium is closely connected to sodium handling. Potassium is the major cation, positive ion, inside animal cells, 150 mmol, L, 4.8 grams, while sodium is the major cation of extracellular fluid, 150 mmol, L, 3.345 grams. In the kidneys, about 180 liters of plasma is filtered through the glomeruli and into the renal tubules per day. This filtering involves about 600 grams of sodium and 33 grams of potassium. Since only 1 to 10 grams of sodium and 1 to 4 grams of potassium are likely to be replaced by diet, renal filtering must efficiently reabsorb the remainder from the plasma. Sodium is reabsorbed to maintain extracellular volume, osmotic pressure, and serum sodium concentration within narrow limits. Potassium is reabsorbed to maintain serum potassium concentration within narrow limits. Sodium pumps in the renal tubules operate to reabsorb sodium. Potassium must be conserved also, but, because the amount of potassium in the blood plasma is very small and the pool of potassium in the cells is about 30 times as large, the situation is not so critical for potassium. Since potassium is moved passively in counterflow to sodium in response to an apparent, but not actual, Donnan equilibrium, the urine can never sink below the concentration of potassium in serum except sometimes by actively excreting water at the end of the processing. Potassium is excreted twice and reabsorbed three times before the urine reaches the collecting tubules. At that point, urine usually has about the same potassium concentration as plasma. 
At the end of the processing, potassium is secreted one more time if the serum levels are too high. With no potassium intake, it is excreted at about 200 mg per day until, in about a week, potassium in the serum declines to a mildly deficient level of 3.0 to 3.5 mmol. L. If potassium is still withheld, the concentration continues to fall until a severe deficiency causes eventual death. The potassium moves passively through pores in the cell membrane. When ions move through pumps there is a gate in the pumps on either side of the cell membrane and only one gate can be open at once. As a result, approximately 100 ions are forced through per second. Pores have only one gate, and there only one kind of ion can stream through, at 10 million to 100 million ions per second. The pores require calcium to open although it is thought that the calcium works in reverse by blocking at least one of the pores. Carbonyl groups inside the pore on the amino acids mimic the water hydration that takes place in water solution by the nature of the electrostatic charges on four carbonyl groups inside the pore. Nutrition Dietary Recommendations the U.S. Institute of Medicine IOM, sets estimated average requirements ears, and recommended dietary allowances RDAs, or adequate intakes AIs, for when there is not sufficient information to set EARS and RDAs. Collectively the EARS, RDAs, AIs and ULs are referred to as dietary reference intakes. The AIs for potassium are, 400 mg of potassium for 0 to 6 month old males, 700 mg of potassium for 7 to 12 month old males, 3000 mg of potassium for 1 to 3 year old males, 3800 mg of potassium for 4 to 8 year old males, 4500 mg of potassium for 9 to 13 year old males, and 4700 mg of potassium for males that are 14 years old and older. The AIs for potassium are, 400 mg of potassium for 0 to 6 month old females, 700 mg of potassium for 7 to 12 month old females, 3000 mg of potassium for 1 to 3 year old females, 3800 mg of potassium for 4 to 8 year old females, 4500 mg of potassium for 9 to 13 year old females, and 4700 mg of potassium for females that are 14 years old and older. The AIs for potassium are, 4,700 mg of potassium for 14 to 50 year old pregnant females, furthermore, 5,100 mg of potassium for 14 to 50 year old lactating females. As for safety, the IOM also sets tolerable upper intake levels ULs, for vitamins and minerals, but for potassium the evidence was insufficient, so no all established, most Americans consume only half that amount per day. Likewise, in the European Union, in particular in Germany and Italy, insufficient potassium intake is somewhat common. However, the British National Health Service recommends a lower intake, saying that adults need 3,500 mg per day and that excess amounts may cause health problems such as stomach pain and diarrhea. Food sources Potassium is present in all fruits, vegetables, meat and fish. Foods with high potassium concentrations include yam, parsley, dried apricots, milk, chocolate, all nuts especially almonds and pistachios, potatoes, bamboo shoots, bananas, avocados, coconut water, soybeans, and bran. The USDA lists tomato paste, orange juice, beet greens, white beans, potatoes, plantains, bananas, apricots, and many other dietary sources of potassium, ranked in descending order according to potassium content. A day's worth of potassium is in 5 plantains or 11 bananas. Deficient intake Diets low in potassium can lead to hypertension and hypokalemia. Supplementation Supplements of potassium are most widely used in conjunction with diuretics that block reabsorption of sodium and water upstream from the distal tubule, thiazides and loop diuretics, because this promotes increased distal tubular potassium secretion, with resultant increased potassium excretion. A variety of prescription and over-the-counter supplements are available. 
Potassium chloride may be dissolved in water, but the salty, bitter taste make liquid supplements unpalatable. Typical doses range from 10 mmol, 400 mg, to 20 mmol, 800 mg. Potassium is also available in tablets or capsules, which are formulated to allow potassium to leach slowly out of a matrix, since very high concentrations of potassium ion that occur adjacent to a solid tablet can injure the gastric or intestinal mucosa. For this reason, non-prescription potassium pills are limited by law in the U.S. to a maximum of 99 mg of potassium. Since the kidneys are the site of potassium excretion, individuals with impaired kidney function are at risk for hyperkalemia if dietary potassium and supplements are not restricted. The more severe the impairment, the more severe is the restriction necessary to avoid hyperkalemia. A meta-analysis concluded that a 1,640 mg increase in the daily intake of potassium was associated with a 21% lower risk of stroke. Potassium chloride and potassium bicarbonate may be useful to control mild hypertension. Detection by taste buds Potassium can be detected by taste because it triggers three of the five types of taste sensations, according to concentration. Dilute solutions of potassium ions taste sweet, allowing moderate concentrations in milk and juices, while higher concentrations become increasingly bitter, alkaline, and finally also salty to the taste. The combined bitterness and saltiness of high potassium solutions makes high-dose potassium supplementation by liquid drinks a palatability challenge. Commercial production Mining Potassium salts such as carnalite, langbinite, polyolite, and sylvite form extensive evaporite deposits in ancient lake bottoms and seabeds, making extraction of potassium salts in these environments commercially viable. The principal source of potassium, potash, is mined in Canada, Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Germany, Israel, United States, Jordan, and other places around the world. The first mine deposits were located near Stafford, Germany, but the deposits span from Great Britain over Germany into Poland. They are located in the Zechstein and were deposited in the middle to late Permian. The largest deposits ever found lie 1,000 metres 3, feet below the surface of the Canadian province of Saskatchewan. The deposits are located in the Elk Point group produced in the Middle Devonian. Saskatchewan, where several large mines have operated since the 1960s pioneered the technique of freezing of wet sands the Blairmore Formation, to drive mine shafts through them. The main potash mining company in Saskatchewan is the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan. The water of the Dead Sea is used by Israel and Jordan as a source of potash, while the concentration in normal oceans is too low for commercial production at current prices. Chemical extraction Several methods are used to separate potassium salts from sodium and magnesium compounds. The most used method is fractional precipitation using the solubility differences of the salts at different temperatures. Electrostatic separation of the ground salt mixture is also used in some mines. The resulting sodium and magnesium waste is either stored underground or piled up in slag heaps. Most of the mined potassium mineral ends up as potassium chloride after processing. The mineral industry refers to potassium chloride either as potash, muriate of potash, or simply MOP. Pure potassium metal can be isolated by electrolysis of its hydroxide in a process that has changed little since it was first used by Humphrey Davy in 1807. Although the electrolysis process was developed and used in industrial scale in the 1920s, the thermal method by reacting sodium with potassium chloride in a chemical equilibrium reaction became the dominant method in the 1950s. The production of sodium-potassium alloys is accomplished by changing the reaction time and the amount of sodium used in the reaction. The Griesheimer process employing the reaction of potassium fluoride with calcium carbide was also used to produce potassium. Na plus KCl sodium chloride plus K thermal method. 
2 kilo ferrets plus CAC 2 2 K plus calcium fluoride plus 2 C Griesheimer process reagent grade potassium metal costs about $10 per pound $22 per kilogram in 2010 when purchased by the ton lower purity metal is considerably cheaper the market is volatile because long-term storage of the metal is difficult it must be stored in a dry inert gas atmosphere or anhydrous mineral oil to prevent the formation of a surface layer of potassium superoxide, a pressure-sensitive explosive that detonates when scratched. The resulting explosion often starts a fire difficult to extinguish. Commercial uses Fertilizer Potassium ions are an essential component of plant nutrition and are found in most soil types. They are used as a fertilizer in agriculture, horticulture, and hydroponic culture in the form of chloride, KCl, sulfate, K2SO4, or nitrate, KNO3. Agricultural fertilizers consume 95% of global potassium chemical production, and about 90% of this potassium is supplied as KCl. The potassium content of most plants range from 0.5% to 2% of the harvested weight of crops, conventionally expressed as amount of K2O. Modern high-yield agriculture depends upon fertilizers to replace the potassium lost at harvest. Most agricultural fertilizers contain potassium chloride, while potassium sulfate is used for chloride-sensitive crops or crops needing higher sulfur content. The sulfate is produced mostly by decomposition of the complex minerals kyanite, magnesium sulfate KCl3H2O, and langbinite, magnesium sulfate K2SO4. Only a very few fertilizers contain potassium nitrate. In 2005, about 93% of world potassium production was consumed by the fertilizer industry. Food additives. Potassium sodium tartrate, KNAC4H4O6, Rochelle salt, is the main constituent of baking powder, it is also used in the silvering of mirrors. Potassium bromate, potassium hypobromite, is a strong oxidizer, E924, used to improve dough strength and rise height. Potassium bisulfite, KHSO3, is used as a food preservative, for example in wine and beer making, but not in meats. It is also used to bleach textiles and straw, and in the tanning of leathers. Industrial Major potassium chemicals are potassium hydroxide, potassium carbonate, potassium sulfate, and potassium chloride. Megadins of these compounds are produced annually. Potassium hydroxide Co is a strong base, which is used in industry to neutralize strong and weak acids, to control pH and to manufacture potassium salts. It is also used to saponify fats and oils, in industrial cleaners, and in hydrolysis reactions, for example of esters. Potassium nitrate, KNO3, or saltpeter is obtained from natural sources such as guano and evaporites or manufactured via the Haber process. It is the oxidant in gunpowder, black powder, and an important agricultural fertilizer. Potassium cyanide, KCN, is used industrially to dissolve copper and precious metals, in particular silver and gold, by forming complexes. Its applications include gold mining, electroplating, and electroforming of these metals. It is also used in organic synthesis to make nitriles. Potassium carbonate, K2CO3 or potash, is used in the manufacture of glass, soap, color TV tubes, fluorescent lamps, textile dyes, and pigments. Potassium permanganate, potassium permanganate, is an oxidizing, bleaching and purification substance and is used for production of saccharin. Potassium chlorate, potassium hypochlorite, is added to matches and explosives. Potassium bromide, KBR, was formerly used as a sedative and in photography. Potassium chromate, potassium chromate, is used in inks, dyes, stains, bright yellowish red color, in explosives and fireworks, in the tanning of leather, in fly paper and safety matches, but all these uses are due to the chemistry of the chromate ion, rather than the potassium ion. Niche uses there are thousands of uses of various potassium compounds. 
One example is potassium superoxide, KO2, an orange solid that acts as a portable source of oxygen and a carbon dioxide absorber. It is widely used in respiration systems in mines, submarines and spacecraft as it takes less volume than the gaseous oxygen. 4KO2 plus 2CO2 2K2 CO3 plus 3O2 Another example is potassium cobaltonitrite, K3, cobalt-6 nitrite, which is used as artist's pigment under the name of aureolin or cobalt yellow. The stable isotopes of potassium can be laser-cooled and used to probe fundamental and technological problems in quantum physics. The two bosonic isotopes possess convenient Feshbach resonances to enable studies requiring tunable interactions, while 40K is one of only two stable fermions amongst the alkali metals. Laboratory uses An alloy of sodium and potassium, NAC is a liquid used as a heat transfer medium and a desiccant for producing dry and air-free solvents. It can also be used in reactive distillation. The ternary alloy of 12% Na, 47% K and 41% Cs has the lowest melting point of minus 78 degrees Celsius of any metallic compound. Metallic potassium is used in several types of magnetometers. Precautions Potassium metal reacts violently with water-producing potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. 2K S plus 2H2O L 2 Co AQ plus H2 G. This reaction is exothermic and releases enough heat to ignite the resulting hydrogen in the presence of oxygen, possibly explosively splashing onlookers with potassium hydroxide, which is a strong alkali that destroys living tissue and causes skin burns. Finally graded potassium ignites in air at room temperature. The bulk metal ignites in air if heated. Because its density is 0.89 g per cc, burning potassium floats in water that exposes it to atmospheric oxygen. Many common fire extinguishing agents, including water, either are ineffective or make a potassium fire worse. Nitrogen, argon, sodium chloride table salt, sodium carbonate soda ash, and silicon dioxide sand are effective if they are dry. Some Class D dry powder extinguishers designed for metal fires are also effective. These agents deprive the fire of oxygen and cool the potassium metal. Potassium reacts violently with halogens and detonates in the presence of bromine. It also reacts explosively with sulfuric acid. During combustion, potassium forms peroxides and superoxides. These peroxides may react violently with organic compounds such as oils. Both peroxides and superoxides may react explosively with metallic potassium, because potassium reacts with water vapor in the air, it is usually stored under anhydrous mineral oil or kerosene. Unlike lithium and sodium, however, potassium should not be stored under oil for longer than six months, unless in an inert oxygen-free atmosphere, or under vacuum. After prolonged storage in air dangerous shock sensitive peroxides can form on the metal and under the lid of the container, and can detonate upon opening. Because of the highly reactive nature of potassium metal, it must be handled with great care, with full skin and eye protection and preferably an explosion-resistant barrier between the user and the metal. Ingestion of large amounts of potassium compounds can lead to hyperkalemia, strongly influencing the cardiovascular system. Potassium chloride is used in the United States for lethal injection executions. See also References Bibliography Burkhart, Elizabeth R. 2006. Potassium and Potassium Alloys. Ullman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry. A22 pp 31 to 38 doi 10.1002/1435600.a22_031.pub2 isbn 3527306730 greenwood norman n earnshaw allen 1997 chemistry of the elements second ed butterworth heinemann ISBN 0-08-037941-9. Holman, Arnold F., Weiberg, Egan, Weiberg, Nils 2007. Potassium. Lerbeck der Anorganischen Chemie in German, 91-100 ed. Walter de Gruyter.
ISBN 3110177706. Schultz, H., et al., 2006. Potassium Compounds. Ullman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry. A22, pp. 39-103. doi.10.1002-143560071. A22-031.1003. ISBN 3-527-30779-0. Schultz, National Nutrient Database at USDA website External links Potassium at the Periodic Table of Videos University of Nottingham Potassium K at Encyclopædia Britannica